For more than 45 years, Voyagers have been roaming the cosmos. But despite the fact that today Voyager 1 has moved away from the Sun by 22 billion kilometers and Voyager 2 by 18 billion kilometers, the vehicles have only overcome 1% of 1000% of the distance to the border of the solar system. Scientists have found that under the most favorable journey of Voyager 2, it will take about 30,000 years to get beyond the outer edge of the Oort cloud. In this video, you will learn about the most incredible discoveries of Voyager in 45 years. How Voyager turned the idea of space upside down. Be sure to watch to the end because there I will talk about the most amazing latest discovery, an anomaly discovered by Voyager outside the universe and witness the crazy and amazing pictures taken by Voyager. Prepare cookies. Have you already joined the channel subscribers? If not yet, then do it right now. Ready, steady, go! In 2018, after a 41-year journey, Voyager 2 crossed the boundary beyond which the Sun's influence ends and entered interstellar space. But the mission of the little probe is not over yet. It continues to make amazing discoveries and now you will learn about the most incredible ones. Did you know that Voyager 2 was actually launched on August 20, 1977? Voyager 1, a faster probe, left Earth on September 5, 1977. Thanks to the thousands of unique photographs that both spacecraft sent to our planet, astronomers for the first time were able to study features of the solar system that could not be seen with terrestrial telescopes. It turned out that our moon, which has long excited the minds of scientists, is perhaps the least interesting among all natural satellites. 5. Thanks to voyagers, humanity has enriched its knowledge of alien geology and many discoveries have shocked astronomers. In the cold regions of the solar system, volcanoes have been discovered that erupt lava to a height of hundreds of kilometers as well as signs of whole seas of liquid hydrocarbons. These celestial bodies were supposed to be dead pieces of rock, but instead the moons turned out to be just as important and interesting to modern science as our host planets. 4. In the past, when Galileo discovered Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, they were little more than small dots in the sky, but they were already challenging people's understanding of the cosmos and the role of the Earth in its star system. The same thing happened after the Voyager mission. To study the orbits of Jupiter's moons, the work of astronomer Linda Morabito laid the foundation for the navigation strategy of the Voyager mission, and as the probes approached Jupiter, it served as a navigator for the spacecraft. The first photographs taken from the probes were small and not of good quality, but at that time they were the best way to get a closer look at distant planets. And then space probes began to study Io. Located almost 800 million kilometers from the Sun, this moon should have been a tiny ball of rock and ice. Instead, scientists saw a colossal plume of the erupting Loki volcano, the height of the lava fountain of which sometimes reaches 400 kilometers. It turned out that Jupiter's huge gravity causes the tectonic structures of the satellite to be in constant motion, which leads to strong volcanic activity and magma emissions far beyond the surface of Io. The Moon, which is only a quarter of the size of the Earth, turned out to be the most dangerous place in the entire solar system. 3. Voyager 1 has worked extensively on Saturn, especially Titan, using a remote sensing technique that measures the physical characteristics of the Moon. The telemetry signal passed through the planet, which allowed scientists to determine its density profile, composition, pressure and surface temperature. Voyager could not see anything beyond the thick atmosphere of Titan and therefore limited itself to photographs of an orange haze, behind which one could only guess the outlines of certain geostructures. But 20 years later, another spacecraft, the well-known Cassini, sent a Huygens probe to Titan and once again performed an extensive satellite scan. 2. Another moon that aroused genuine interest among NASA astronomers was Saturn's other moon, Enceladus. Voyager found out the exact size of the moon, which was 513 kilometers across with an average radius of 252 kilometers, so that if desired, it could be drowned in the Gulf of Mexico. But more importantly, it was with the Voyager expedition that a series of fantastic discoveries related to Enceladus began which continues today. 
The probe found that all the old craters on the planet had been erased. This surprised astronomers because if the planet is dead and there is no geological activity on it, then all craters and cracks are preserved in their original form. For example, moons like Callisto are pockmarked with craters because the top layers of their tectonic structures are immobile. Enceladus, contrary to expectations, was smooth as pearls. Ten years later, Cassini managed to discover that under the ice shell of Enceladus there is a huge underground ocean, the depth of which can reach 100 kilometers. 1. Voyager 2 was the only lander to visit Uranus and Neptune. It took a lot of effort to capture Neptune because it is 900 times darker there than on Earth or on the Moon. But humanity now has pictures of Neptune. By the way, you can watch the video about it by clicking on the top right of the screen. And finally, a new discovery. It turned out that the devices that flew outside the solar system are actually closer to the Earth and that is why they get back in touch and send data that they should not have sent. The researchers note that the fault is the flight path of the Voyagers into space. Probes fly into the depths of space not in a straight line but in a spiral captured by gigantic force inside the solar system. Periodically, they line up with the Earth, due to which the transmitting modules on the probes and NASA's powerful antennas on Earth are synchronized to transmit data. And what is most surprising, the Voyagers also sent a new portion of information about the plasma bombardment that hit Earth on the night of March 31, 2022. Astronomers rated the geomagnetic impact at seven points and called it the most powerful in the past few years. It is already known that it hid the health of weather-sensitive people. It can be assumed that if there were no protective layer, then life on Earth would become impossible. And what is in the interstellar space itself, one can only guess. The new data puts Voyager 1 at a distance of 14 billion 600 million miles from the edge of the Oort cloud and Voyager 2 at 12 billion 700 million miles. They are moving at 54,000 miles per hour. A complete decryption of all the data that the devices have sent over many years can stretch over the next 10 years and end only in the early 2030s. But what's still encouraging, the results helped create a picture of the cosmic coastline where the environment of the Sun ends and the vast ocean of interstellar space begins. The heliosphere protects the Earth from about 70% of interstellar radiation. And Voyager 2 confirmed that there is a boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space that protects our planet and thanks to which we are alive. Hope you finish your cookies. We are landing. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video and join our communities using the links in the description of this video to keep abreast of events from the world of science and space. Hugs.